Hello and welcome. In this presentation, I'm going to, going to describe stimulus discrimination. Stimulus discrimination is when you have two stimuli and you treat them differently, meaning that you have a conditioned stimulus that you have a conditioned response to, but then you have a similar neutral stimulus, but you have no conditioned response to it. Okay? Now that's different than stimulus generalization. Remember, stimulus generalization is when you have a conditioned stimulus and a neutral stimulus, and for both, you have a conditioned response. Stimulus discrimination is when you have a conditioned stimulus and a neutral stimulus, but you don't have a conditioned response to both. Let me give you an example. A ringtone. A ringtone elicits an conditioned response. So you naturally hear, you hear a ringtone, and it's going to automatically elicit your happiness. So my ringtone, ring, 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 that's the sound of my ringtone, that's actually going to make me become happy. However, I hear an alternative ringtone, possibly my wife's ringtone, ring, 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 that is going to fail to elicit a conditioned response. Okay? That's stimulus discrimination. I am discriminating between these two. I can discriminate that this is the conditioned uh, stimulus and this is not the conditioned stimulus. This is some sort of neutral stimulus. I've never been exposed to it before. It has no meaning to me. Okay, So that's stimulus discrimination. Please try to make an example for yourself. We probably see these all throughout our life. If you have a response to one stimulus and you fail to have a response to a similar but not identical alternative stimulus, that's stimulus discrimination. Thanks and have a great day.